time to think. Who are we? I am a bony framework of the body. I am a thick cord of nerve tissue. I am the largest part of the brain. This morning, while coming to school, you may have seen many cars on the road. Do you know what the different parts of a car are? The different parts of a car are its engine, body, wheels and steering wheel. All these internal and external parts of a car work under the control of a driver. Similarly, our body is made up of many parts called organs. Some of these organs are visible from outside. They are called external organs. For example, our arms and legs are external organs of our body. Some organs are located inside our body. They are not visible from outside. Such organs are called internal organs. For example, our lungs and heart are internal organs of our body. Each organ of our body performs definite function. Moreover, all these organs work together to perform their functions properly. A group of related organs form an organ system. Some organ systems of our body are the skeletal system, the respiratory system and the digestive system. Our internal body structure. Our body is made up of some hard parts called bones. Can you feel any of your bones? Look at an x-ray of the skeleton. An x-ray plate is a photograph of any part of the body made using x-rays. The frame of bones supporting human body is called the skeleton. Look at this picture of a human skeleton. The skeleton is made up of many different bones. There are 206 bones in an adult's body. At birth, a human baby has 350 bones. They decrease in number while the baby is growing. Our bones are of varying shapes and sizes. The bones of our head, shoulders and hips are flat, whereas the bones of our arms and legs are long. Our palms and feet have short bones and the backbone is of an irregular shape. Bones are hard as they are made up of calcium, phosphorus and protein. Functions of our skeleton The skeleton supports our body and gives it a particular shape. It also helps to protect the soft and delicate organs of the body. The rib cage is the structure of ribs that protects our heart and lungs in the chest. The skull is the group of bones of the head that surround the brain and give it its shape. The skull protects the delicate parts of the brain from any injury. Joints Our joints occur at places where bones meet. There are different types of joints. Freely movable joints like those in the arms and legs and slightly movable joints such as those in the spine. There are some immovable joints present in the skull too. Joints found between the bones allow us to move. However, our bones cannot move without muscles being attached to them. Bones and muscles work together to move our body. Elbow joint, knee joint, nitty gritty. Anatomy is the scientific study of our body and how its different parts are arranged. It is a branch of medical biology. Height Most human bodies have the same basic design. Two eyes, two ears, a nose, a mouth, a chest, an abdomen, two arms and two legs. Though we have the same body parts, there is remarkable variation in body shapes and sizes. Can you still wear the shoes and clothes that you used to wear two years ago? Most probably you cannot. As you are growing, your height is also increasing. Ask somebody to measure your height. Stand straight against a wall 
and ask the person to mark your height with the help of a measuring scale on top of your head. Now measure your height on the wall using a measuring tape or a scale. A height is usually measured in inches. You know 12 inches make 1 foot. So if your height is 48 inches that means you are 48 divided by 12 is equal to 4 feet tall. You can also measure your friend's height by this method. Take a break. Rhea wants to know. Take a measuring tape and measure everybody's height in your family. Note down the heights of your family members next to their names. Your mother's height is inches. Your father's height is inches. Your brother's or sister's height is inches. Your height is inches. Now find out who is the tallest and who is the shortest in your family. Also calculate the difference between your height and your parents' heights. Baby's expressions. The first expression of a baby is crying. A baby tries to express itself. When it is only a few weeks old, the baby learns how to smile and then laugh. The baby gradually learns that its different actions produce reactions and that it gets either pleasure or sorrow out of that. At first, the baby's laughter is natural. However, as the baby gets older, he or she learns that there are different ways of laughing, from a short chuckle to a loud guffaw. Do you have any baby in your family or in your neighbor's house? Try to observe when a baby cries the loudest. What does the baby do when it feels hungry or angry? Everybody is unique. Everybody in a family has some special qualities. Have you noticed it? Read about Lata's family. Lata lives in Kanpur. There are six members in her family. Her father, Mr. Sharma, has a beard and he is the tallest in the family. Lata's mother, Mrs. Sharma, has long black hair. She speaks very softly and above all, she is a very good teacher. Lata is proud of her mother. Lata's aunt, Anita, is a dancer. She teaches Kathak in a school and performs in different dance programs. Lata's elder brother Gaurav is a very good swimmer and has won several medals in state level competitions. Lata's grandfather is a retired brigadier. He speaks the loudest in the family. Lata is a good athlete and has won the sports shield in the annual sports event of her school. Our likes and dislikes. All of us have different likes and dislikes. For example, you may like reading comic books. Somebody else may like reading short stories and novels. Each of us has a different choice of colors, dresses, food, flowers, fruits, movie and games. Moreover, we even like the company of some people and do not like others. Our surroundings and the people we live with influence our likes and dislikes. There are some common things that we do not like. All of us dislike the foul smell of garbage and like the fragrance of a flower. The good smell of a dish makes us want to eat it. If we do not like the smell of a dish, we do not want to eat it. What we eat is dependent on our culture and taste. Which of the foods given here do you like to eat? We should always appreciate the likes and dislikes of other people, even if they do not match with our own taste. 